These are the fighters ISIS is preparing to be stone cold killers, featured in a new training camp video. And tonight, a new audio tape threatening attacks on the U.S. homeland is drawing a strong response from Washington. A U.S. official tells CNN, law enforcement and counterterrorism officials are working with foreign partners to thwart this threat. A threat made by a senior ISIS leader who for the first time specifically calls for lone wolf attacks inside Western countries. Rig the roads with explosives for them, attack their bases, raid their homes, cut off their heads, do not let them feel secure, remove their families from their homes and thereafter blow up their homes. Could this audio tape activate someone who's in ISIS or even a sympathizer inside the U.S. to conduct a lone wolf attack? It certainly could. Al-Qaeda has tried it before and keeps pushing that message for individuals within the United States, within European countries, to simply act out. The Islamic State could be trying to do the same thing. The ISIS leader also specifically calls for attacks on U.S. allies France and Australia. Just days ago, Australian authorities say they disrupted just such an attack in Sydney. In the new training video, ISIS is refining its military tactics and shows it's able to attract more Westerners. They see this as a, a serious organization that really wants to fight, not just talk about it, to be a warrior. And this is part and parcel of making that transition from being a civilian to being a warrior in the minds of these recruits. This is one man who could be drawing them in. The flames of war are only beginning to intensify. U.S. intelligence officials now say this man, seen in a recent video apparently executing Syrians, could be an American. Voice analysis is underway, and officials tell us they're concerned this could be the first time they're seeing an American in a position of apparent authority inside ISIS. Further evidence of Westerners getting recruited to join jihad in Syria? This video showing ISIS fighters from Britain. Now tonight, just hours after that ISIS spokesman called on foreign fighters to carry out attacks inside the U.S., a senior Obama administration official warned that the international community is not prepared to respond to such calls. The official saying, quote, we're not structured that way effectively right now. Wolf, kind of a chilling message.